This is my working Lego bowling alley. After posting five videos documenting the journey of building this machine, it's finally time to show it off. 20 pins are used in the machine, 10 to be played with and 10 that are getting cycled for the next frame. Once 10 pins are ready for that first frame, it lowers them down and releases them onto the lane. Then the pin setter goes back up and the sweep lifts up. Now it's time to bowl. And while I was close to a strike, I left four pins standing. The machine then detects that you bowled and lowers the pin sweep, then lowers the pin setter to pick up the remaining pins. Once those are lifted up, then the pin sweep can fully sweep to brush those pins into the recycler pit. Once it comes back, then those remaining pins can be dropped back on the lane and both the pin setter and pin sweep go up. Now it's time to try to pick up the spare, which I did not. Once you bowl again, then the pin sweep goes down and fully sweeps the lane. Here we can see the speed of the ball return system. Once you bowl, the ball is sorted away from the pins it then goes down a ramp and begins going up a chain lift. From the chain lift, it then goes up the S-curve lift and out to you. This process only takes about 16 seconds. Like I previously said, once you bowl that second ball, the machine starts the process for the next frame, starting by sweeping those pins into the pit. These will begin to be cycled once the next frame has started. The bowling ball is sorted away from the pins since it's a little taller than the pins are wide. It rolls down the rail into its own exit chute, which then goes under a sensor telling the machine that you bowled. Then the ball goes through the ball return system and is returned back to you. With 10 pins in the pin setter, it can now start the next frame by dropping those 10 pins onto the lane. Then it goes back up and lifts the pin sweep up. Afterwards, it starts cycling the pins we were using in the previous frame into the pin distributor for our next frame. Now, let's bowl again. And I got a strike! Unfortunately, the machine can't detect that I actually got a strike, so it's still going to run through the process as if there's a couple pins still standing. But we can see it return my ball as well as sweep all 10 of the pins. Those pins are cycled up the lifts, and depending on their orientation, either do a backflip into the pin distributor or a front flip. Once they're in the pin distributor, they go to their assigned slot, starting at 1 and going to 10, 1 being that front pin. Eventually, it'll go all the way up to number 10. Once number 10 is deposited into the pin distributor, it then lifts all 10 pins up and drops them into the pin setter, like so. Now, it's time for frame 3. I'm going to keep this frame unedited, just so you can see the complete process of the bowling alley. The 10th pin was just deposited up in the pin distributor, so now it's going to drop those pins onto the lane. So close to a strike. Now that it's detected that I bowled, the pin sweep once again lowers, and it's going to pick up that one pin so it can sweep the rest into the pit. Let's see if I can pick up the spare. And I did! Now it's time for some slow-mo. While the pin setter picks up those pins to sweep under them, I now want to take the time to thank you all for all the support on the series. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos and projects. Now let's look at how it's able to pick up the pins. Those pieces move in to go underneath the tops of the pins. And when they retract, it then drops the pins back on the lane. And for good measure, here's one more strike. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.